In the 20th century, world wars among nation states threatened humanity's survival. In the 21st century, despite globalization, economic development, and advances in technology, we still face new challenges. For in the shadow of such growth and development, the Earth itself is being threatened by exploitation and abuse. The planet that sustains our lives is at risk, and along with it, all of us. The world is still full of conflict. Terrorism has the world trembling in fear and anxiety, and the refugee crisis has become the greatest challenge of our era. The future of our planet Earth hangs in the balance. The more severe the violence and destruction, the more we crave for peace. The time has come for us to open a way for a new era, a civilization of peace, and a world in which all people live together in harmony, living for the sake of one another and for the sake of future generations. The Sunhawk Peace Prize hears the cries of the future generations who long for peace. The Sunhawk Peace Prize is dedicated to building a civilization of peace for future generations. Peace was given to us by God, but we have lost it somewhere along the line. And now we spend our lives looking for it in all the wrong places. A vision of peace includes the whole human family and should be established in every corner of the world. Reverend Sun Myung Moon and his wife, Dr. Hakcha Han Moon, comforted mothers in Africa who were without the resources to feed their starving children. They worked to help fathers in South America who could not provide enough nutrition for their children. And they watched as hope blossomed on the faces of these children. They poured their heart and soul into resolving conflicts. They met with President Mikhail Gorbachev of the Soviet Union as part of their efforts to bring about the reconciliation of communism and democracy. They also met with President Kim Il-sung of North Korea to propose a path to peace on the Korean Peninsula. They invested their time and resources in the United States to lead a spiritual and moral awakening. And they also led a movement to promote dialogue and cooperation among religions and people of all faiths. If we are to bring an end to suffering and conflict, we must practice love for one another. This is the way of peace. This is the way to break down the barriers that divide us as people. We are one human family. We are one family under God. The human family develops over time from generation to generation. We must think about the kind of world we want to pass on to our children. In August of 2014, the Sunhawk Peace Prize took its very first step by launching its selection committee, made up of prominent figures from various nationalities, religious backgrounds, and professional fields. Respecting human rights. Resolving conflict. And promoting sustainable development for the sake of the future. These are the objectives of the Sunhawk Peace Prize. For the inaugural awarding of the Sunhawk Peace Prize, the committee focused on the problem of climate change and food security. The committee chose as the co-awardees of the first Sunhawk Peace Prize, President Anoti Tong of Kiribati and Dr. Moda Dugu Gupta of India. Both laureates have devoted their lives to peace.
the men and women who have worked to overcome the difficulties faced by humanity and who have brought the flowers of hope into bloom are the heroes of the Sunhawk Peace Prize. The awarding of the second annual Sunhawk Peace Prize. This year's laureate was chosen from a pool of 225 nominations spanning 76 nations sent in by a recommendation committee of 1,000 delegates. The 2017 Sunhawk Peace Prize focuses on the global refugee crisis. The treacherous journey across the Mediterranean Sea, a desperate struggle for survival. Refugees that make it to European shores are still exposed to many risks. UNHCR reported that there were 65.3 million people forcefully displaced by the end of 2015, but the actual number is said to eclipse that estimate. One in every 113 people are now refugees. This is the worst humanitarian crisis on record. Over half of the refugees in 2015 alone were children. 100,000 of them orphans. Future generations are wandering aimlessly without parents or a future. We must prepare a warm home to welcome these children and educate them that they may reach their full potential. It is up to us to create the environment necessary that they may grow to become responsible citizens of the global community. International solidarity and cooperation. We are all astronauts on a small spaceship called Earth. The time has come for us to open a way for a new era of peace. Hand in hand, we must pursue universal solidarity and cooperation. We will create a better future. Global action beyond simply compassion. We will create a new civilization of peace.